Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And in this video, we're gonna go over how to connect your power supply radio to your fire alarm control panel so that when a AC fail or low battery occurs, it will drop voltage to the Telco 2 to enunciate a local trouble on the FACP. The dual path radios have a feature by removing JP2. It enables the radio to drop power to just Telco 2 to enunciate local trouble. So as you can see on the meter, we have our normal 35 to 36 volts coming off of the Starlink. So if I create any radio trouble, it will now drop power to Telco 2 to enunciate a local trouble without having to wire to a, a zone or conventional module. And as you can see, once we restore the trouble, the voltage comes back. So now on the power supply board, um, if we're gonna need, also need to monitor AC fail low battery, that would normally also need to be wired to a traditional zone or module on a fire alarm control panel. So we can also make these troubles drop the voltage to Telco 2 for the local enunciation. Uh, we just have to do a little bit of rewiring from the factory radio. So again, we're gonna move JP, remove JP2 to enable that Telco 2 feature. You're gonna disconnect terminal 21 on the radio, and that's going to get hooked to the common on the power supply board. And this is done to satisfy the radio trip to the power supply. Okay, and then we're also going to need to install a jumper on J2 on the power supply. You could use the JP2 jumper or use one of the other ones that come with the radio. This will turn the radio power supply relay from dry into a wet contact. Now we're just going to connect series in the normally open side of the power supply relay with, a, with another wire to the positive side of IN5 on the radio. You could use any input, but IN5 is the closest. Now, as you can see, we are running normal voltage coming out of the radio. We will disconnect the battery, and this could take up to 200 seconds to enunciate, but once it does, it will drop power to Telco 2 to enunciate a local trouble. Okay, as we can see, we're getting two blinks, which indicates a battery trouble. And now we've dropped voltage to Telco 2. So reconnecting the battery. We'll clear the trouble. This could also take up to 200 seconds to clear. And once it does, we'll get voltage back on Telco 2.
Okay, the trouble has cleared and we have our voltage back on Telco 2. Now, just to review, we went over how to use the JP2 feature to drop power to Telco 2 to enunciate local trouble and to also connect the power supply to use the same feature and this will eliminate the need to have to use a zone or module on the fire alarm control panel. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all so much for watching today.